Hello, I'm going to do the Capricorn Silent Tarot Reading. And this may or may not resonate with you. If it does, take the parts that do resonate. If it does not, take the parts that do not resonate. So what I thought I would do is I would pull one of these cards and I would put them in three different piles and I'm going to let you decide what these different piles represent. Okay? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a second deck and I'm going to put three cards underneath that main card to get that message and for you to feel that energy of that and see what it is that you can decipher from it. I feel like it's a great way to learn tarot. Um, I feel like it's a great way to kind of be more in tune with those feelings that, that, that you're having. Um, so I just thought I'd give it a try, see what happens. All right, I will let you know what each card is in case, because sometimes um, I know not everybody knows what all the cards are, but I'll, I'll say which card they are. Okay. So for the first pile, we have the Ten of Pentacles. And to look at all of the different images, like looking at the sun, looking at the leaves, looking at the animal, the pentacles, the turtle. What does that represent for you? All right. Second pile. We have the queen of swords. What does that what is that energy that you're feeling from there? We have a very bright light here. We have clouds here. We have the look on her face, the color of the card, all right, third, five of wands. What energy are you feeling from that? We also have the little butterflies down here. We have the little log with the little animals on there. There's the mountains in the back. Bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Wands. Okay, if you need to pause the video and just look at the cards to get more of a feeling or an energy, go ahead and do that. So we have this here, which is the Six of Swords. We have the Moon here. We have the very choppy weather back here. We have the town back here. We have the smoothness here. We have the swords sticking up here. We have the people and the expressions in the boat. We have the king of cups. We have the Six of Wands. Okay, so those go with that. We have the Queen of Cups. We have the Hierophant, which also represents Taurus. We have the Three of Cups.
We have the Nine of Cups. We have the Ten of Cups. We have the Nine of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck, we have the Fool. Right, and then I'm just going to grab a Whispers of Healing. We have Listen to Your Body. All right. Hope you were able to get some messages from that. Hope you like that. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I will see you next time.